There's just something weird about CERN. CERN's Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest particle accelerator. In fact, it's the largest machine on Earth. Now they tell us that they're seeking answers to some of the deepest mysteries of time and space. But some people believe that CERN is actually the key to the abyss, to the bottomless pit. And what they're going to do with CERN is allow the beast to rise from the abyss. They tell us that the idea is to recreate the circumstances right after the so-called Big Bang, or the beginning of the universe. They also claim to have already discovered the God Particle. But what's really going on with CERN? Operatic dance performance filmed inside CERN. Symmetry tells the story of a CERN researcher who rediscovers love through the song and dance of the infinite cosmos. But what's really going on with CERN? So isn't it interesting that right around the time that CERN is about to activate the Large Hadron Collider once again, we find this what seems to be strange ritual taking place actually inside of CERN. Let's take another look at this. Symmetry is an operatic sci-fi dance performance based on the work being performed at CERN. It follows Lucas, played by the film's choreographer, Lucas Timilak a CERN physicist hard at work using the LHC to search for the smallest particle in existence when a ghostly woman played by soprano Claron McFadden appears. I want to show you a little bit of this footage. You can decide for yourself. Now this right here is from the very beginning of the video and I thought it was interesting because right here in the very beginning we find Saturn's ring. Check this out. in the search for the smallest particle. Boom. Right. And now check this out. Watch the way these people are dancing. It's also interesting to note that in between the different segments of this short video, they like to keep showing us Saturn's rings. Check this part out, I thought it was interesting as well. Now they're about to jump over to a new scene and then watch the guy's cheek, and then there's that guy in the black right behind him. Now watch. Once again, just keep in mind that there is a very, very common belief that CERN, what they're doing, that these people are actually in league with the fallen angels, or with the satanic system itself, the devil himself, the beast system or the Illuminati, you could even say. All this stuff is tied in together. This is really heavy stuff, and I find it amazing the things they're kind of showing us just in this short video or this ritual that they performed at CERN. So just considering the possibility that that's actually what they're doing, that they are trying to open up the pit, that we are really in those times, those prophetic times, that it's time to unleash the beast, right? Then man, this imagery is interesting, isn't it? So look at this, just watch. It's open, right? Here it comes. Anyway, it's interesting. It goes right here. Got the lady in white inside of the magic circle. You got the guy dressed in black walking outside of it. So once again, we have that symbol of the dark and the light. This time the light is the lady in white, and she's inside of a magic circle with the man in black walking around the edges. There was the ring again, right? Look, here it comes. Gates open. Boom. Here they come, right? Fallen angels, the devil himself. They're on the way. It makes you wonder. So something else I thought was really interesting is I went ahead and took a look at the names. Let's take a look at the name Lucas. And it just so happens that the name Lucas, right there in the middle you can see in the left, means light. We are dealing with Lucifer here, yes? bringing in Lucifer, bringing in the light. So then I look up the name for Claron, it just so happens it means bright. So we have these two characters, the bright light, performing this ritual at CERN, where many people are concerned. They are literally trying to unlock the bottomless pit, that we are in the time where the beast rises, and this is essentially what they're trying to do. The part in the beginning of the video where they were all dancing around kind of weird, right? 
Well, they reminded me of iPet Goat 2. If you haven't heard of iPet Goat 2, it's a video. Please go check it out. It's all over the place. A lot of people have done breakdowns on the symbolic meaning behind it. And I say a lot. I mean a lot. And that's okay. Because it's just that deep. This is some really deep occult stuff with iPet Goat 2. There's a lot of different meanings going on there. Many of us do believe that it's truly a spiritual message, essentially laying out the times we're in. So another connection here is the statue of Kali stands out there in front of CERN. You can even see right there in CERN's logo the 666. We find the three sixes in there. And this is certainly not by accident. It's just another case of them literally putting it right in front of our face. And this is from my pet goat too, where Kali turns out. But right around this time of the video, we also find this. back and show you another symbol that happened right there. Now watch real closely at the floor as this character's dancing around and you're going to see a whole bunch of shark fins rise up. I'll see if I can catch it. And there they are. You see those are shark fins surrounding him. He's bringing it up. Why is that important? Because I've covered the shark symbolism in other videos as well, we continually find these sharks turning up in these big public Illuminati rituals. And time and time again, I'm finding, for whatever reason, the sharks connected with a lot of established Illuminati symbolism. So it made me wonder. From the example in iPet Go 2 with the shark fins, the connection with Kali, the connection with the LHC, the possibility that they're unlocking the pit, it only makes sense that the shark symbolizes the coming from the pit. But wait, there's more. For those fans of the old television series Lost, there's also a connection there with CERN and the LHC. There was a secret government group called Dharma in the television series Lost that was investigating all the mysteries around this island, this time-traveling island with all these mysteries and magic going on. It makes more sense now to me. I'll say that. So it's also interesting to note that not long ago, Rihanna made news by going outside the gates of the White House, and they made sure to tell us that it was outside the gates. Now, the official story here is that she was trying to play some kind of a role of an actress on some TV show she likes. What really stood out here is that she posted this on her Instagram outside the gates, she even said, of the White House. So she's outside the gates of the White House, and she wrote Cyrus let me in. Cyrus, let me in. The Cyrus is symbolic for Osiris. And this brings us back to that connection once again of the Illuminati beast system. Now that connection goes back to Osiris. And of course there's multiple connections between Osiris and this beast system, or the Illuminati in ancient Egypt, the Antichrist, the beast. I mean, essentially it's all one character, but it has so many names. And how many times have we seen that in the movies when somebody meets the devil and the devil says, well, I go by many names. It does. That also puts a new perspective on the whole idea of Miley, Cyrus, right? Cyrus. She's really blown up over the last few years, and she's always got that tongue sticking out. And even more interesting, if you take a close look at Rihanna's dress and the pattern, what does that look like to you? It looks just like this. Cyrus, let me in at the gate. The beast wants to be free. The beast wants the gate to be open. The beast wants out of the pit. Here they come. Hey, thanks for watching.